what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd I just opened the zip, I'd roll me a split Let it roll the shit, I'm feeling generous Moving away like a U-Haul Big body What's up, y'all? It's Lauren K. We here at Talk of the Town And who's here today? Hi, I'm Twist, man A.K.A. Just Twist Where we here, we chill. So what do you prefer? I prefer Twist If we talking in like regular conversation I prefer twist okay so I'm gonna call you twist yeah of course that works okay so congratulations on winning the major record label showcase thank you how we got here I love that thank you so let's start from the beginning oh okay you want to talk about it a little bit no let's talk about it let's talk about it how how did you how how did you feel what was the preparation like Um, what was it like performing how many times have you performed before I mean I got a couple of I got I got some good practice performing I've been doing a couple shows I did a few shows cases before um my manager hit me he was like yo he said will will styles the dude that was running it mm-hmm. said that's his friend he was like yo this showcase be lit let's get in it like you got it i was like yeah you know i got it like i, I step in everything confident Love that. <clears throat> so i was like yeah we went it was in a smoke shop. I can't remember the name. I know you're <clears> excited <throat> about that. Wish I could have, sh- yeah. <laughs> wish I could have shouted them out. I don't remember the name, but um, there's a lot of dope artists there. There's a lot of dope artists there. Way more artists than I expected to be there. Mm-hmm. Were like the competition was dope. It was, was it? Were you intimidated at all? Like, was it like you still felt? Yeah. Did you feel the same walking in the building as you did like when you saw the people then? Yeah, I still felt confident. I was still like, I got this. Yeah, like I was still like, yeah, I'm shutting this shit down. Period. Facts, facts, facts. Came in there strong, man. I did did some of my hottest tracks. Were one how of many them, did you perform? I had I had a set of three songs. Okay. One of them, Ellen the Generous. That was off my first project that I dropped in like 2019. Mm-hmm. But that shit's still buzzing. And then it's like Miami Morning. That's on my current project that I got out now. And that shit buzzing, I'm pushing that. And then it's this other song that I just really like a lot. Which one? And it was fucking with it. It's off my other it's off my current project too. It's called Wannabe. Okay. That shit was fire. But yeah, I put them all together, you feel me? I played like a minute of each one. I probably took Miami morning through longer because mm-hmm. I really like that one too. And push come to shove. I did my thing. I listened, I waited for a couple of artists to go because they looked pretty dope you feel me i stuck right. i stuck around for a little minute and i just got up out of there you feel me i just felt like i can't do my thing i did it and i just got up out of there and next thing you know i got a hit up like yo you've been chosen it's Love like, that. Word? so how did you pick the songs how do you go about picking what you want to perform in i which just spot? i just go off feedback for one and i and i definitely like use my own opinion because i feel like i got a unbiased air like i give okay. myself an unbiased air you feel okay. me like if I could tell myself this shit ain't it. Right. And I could tell myself, yo, this shit is it. You okay. feel me? So I just use that and I just use the feedback. I use the numbers. I use I, I take everything into into input when I'm choosing what to perform. I use the location. You feel That's me? Important. Yeah, I That's checked out important. where we was gonna be. I checked out the crowds there in prior show before oh, you did your research yeah of course always you know like i yeah. love that that prevails because you won and I yeah that. i spent my time yeah so i just i'm an, i calculated it right and, and came out the way i needed to come out or love that what, what what's the saying to those whose much is given whatever you <laughs> earned it okay <laughs> so let's start from the beginning tell me a little bit about yourself where you from and how did this name come about where did this name come from i knew that was gonna be a the for like the first question yeah um, we definitely gotta get into that i told you i was very confused <laughs> where i'm from i'm from crown heights okay. kingston avenue to be to be a little more specific okay you feel me i grew up there probably like from one to 14 and then i moved to the 90s since mm-hmm. I was like 14, I lived in the 90s. Like, right in the heart of the stone, you feel me? Niggas that know, they know what I saw. Word, but um, the name, the name. Wait, the hold on. I'm sorry. I just got to stop you. Because before we were talking about South Carolina. Yeah, I grew so up in SC. So you, you just stopped in the 90s. How did we get to South Carolina and how I we spent, back here? I spent my summers in South Carolina as a youth. Sometimes okay. it's been longer than the summer. You feel me? My mm-hmm. grandfather, my father, my brothers, okay. my sisters. I had a whole next half of the family that lived out there. Okay. So 
I was just getting my quality time then out there. My grandfather used to always ask for me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Kidnap me for months. You mm-hmm. feel me? So it was just, it was just, yeah, I spent, I spent a lot of time out Did there. Did you like it out there? Yeah, it was dope. Being young, it was dope. I always, I always told myself I couldn't wait to like get older and be out here, like mm-hmm. do my own thing. Cause it was like, I was on everybody else's schedule every time I was out there. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was just like, and you have school, shit. so it's like yeah. you out there when school permits. Yeah, you feel me? So it was like, it was just being a regular kid. It was just like a suburban life, a super suburban life, like mm-hmm. like Canarsie on crack. You feel <laughs> me? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> it was super suburban. Canarsie like, on crack. Yeah, because you know, like, Canarsie kind of looks suburban, but it's not suburban if okay. you really know what's going on. But this... It looked suburban and it was suburban. Like so, you feel like that puts it on crack. Yeah, like it just turned it up a whole nother level. Cause it's like, damn, I'm used to houses and trees and good neighbors, but now it's like houses, trees, good neighbors, nothing going on. Right. You gotta walk three miles or ride a bike to the damn gas station. Yeah. Like it's, it's the no r- corner stores kills me. Once I leave yeah, the town, it's just like that southern thing is crazy. Like it's no blocks, it's just straight highways. That's a like, fact. Yeah, like that southern life was crazy. So Okay, and the name. Don't forget the name. The name we gotta talk name. about the name. Twist, twist, twist. No, 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 it's not twist. See, it's not twist. It's <laughs> hi I'm um, twist. But hi, it's H I G H. Yes. I'm um, twist. It's a whole bunch of like <laughs> what what they call them? Um double entendres going on. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the hi I'm um, twist, the okay. artist name. That came about because of course I was already being called twist and then when I wanted to, when I wanted to decide like what what lane I wanted to jump in, like mm-hmm. what type of artist I wanted to be, like when I wanted when I started taking it serious, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna really do this. Like I gotta, right. I gotta pick a, I gotta pick a lane and stick to it, you know. Target that audience and maximize it, you know, Absolutely. before I could branch into anything else. So my lane was kind of kind of connected to what I was listening to at the time, like. And I what were you listening to? Super deep into like Wiz Khalifa, currency, like okay. real high, chill vibes. Right. Like, that's where I get the high from, you feel me? I was getting high just being a teenager and then I'm listening to Wiz Khalifa rap right. about getting high and currency rapping about getting high, fly shit. Schoolboy Q, he was another person I was bumping okay. around that time too. Or my, my taste of music is everywhere, like. We gonna get to that. We definitely gonna get into your your taste in music My because taste I feel like yeah, your music is real diverse. So I wanted to get into that. <laughs> but how did you decide? Okay, so Twist is a family name. Is nah, that? I f- I feel like one day I woke up. Right. <laughs> and you feel me? I I buy my own weed. You feel me? I buy my own weed. Buy my own roll up. But I ain't really know how to roll up yet. You okay. feel me? So I'm at the table. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh-huh. Long story short, I figured it out, and I'm like, "Yo, you know what? I'm about to take this and roll with it. Like this shit is clever. Like I'm about to call myself Twist because I'm sitting there and I'm twisting the blunt. You feel me? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I like this. I'm gonna do this a lot. You feel me? I'm about to call myself <laughs> Twist. Okay, so <laughs> it's a it's a couple of different things I have to say about that. Um, so it's a self given name. Yep, but I earned it. I, I gave it. I gave it to myself, <laughs> and you earned it. And then I told, I told my people that I love and people I'm around that this is what I'm going by, and it was like, yo, if you want to go by this, you got to move like this, and I was moving like that. So you, what is moving like twist? You feel me? <laughs> what you that just, is? you just being moving like twist is just chilling. You just rolling up. You in your corner. You feel me? You twisting. Not, you're not doing too much. You feel me? Yeah, you <laughs> out the way. You just twisting. You just smoking. You just chilling. You feel me? You on vibes. You not, not with the rah rah shit. You just well. Chill. Shout out to the family and friends for just taking his word for it and calling him twist. Yeah, they all. Jacket, if my friend you feel randomly me? came to me, if Bree came to me like Bree, I mean like Lauren, I think I'm gonna be twist from now on. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? So you I love the support. Me? I love the support. Word. Okay, so how did you start music? Like, how did you get into music? Um, my big brother, my big brother. He go by Strange. He from South Carolina. When I was out there, I was use, I was around him a lot, and mm-hmm. he was rapping. You feel me? He was always writing in his notebooks. My father was also 
was also writing in notebooks and shit, okay. rapping and shit. He also was a DJ, you feel me? So oh, he was sweet. like, yeah, he's scratching up records and shit and rapping to them and shit. So, and my brother picked up on that and I'm just watching my brother rap. Like I remember right. times being in a Cadillac, he just running, running instrumentals off an of actual CD. You feel mm. me? Like in this is real days. throwback vibes yeah. word. Like word and he just rapping reading out his notebook and shit i'm like you know what like i'm smart i could put words together you feel me i'm literally in my head i'm like 13 14 and i'm just like i'm like yeah i could put words together like that and i just took one summer after i'm just watching him and analyzing him i'm just like yeah i'm gonna go back home and i'm gonna do some shit i got my own cd with my own instrumentals you feel me and i brought that shit back to new york I told my homeboys that some of them was already already thought they was rappers. You feel me? Shout out to the FA. <laughs> some of them already thought they was rappers. You feel me? But I was like, I always, I always took lead in the rap and shit. Like even when, even when I first brought it around, I was like, yeah. Like, so what y'all was doing? Like y'all was freestyling. Y'all was just making songs for fun. Like we was playing the beats off the CD mm-hmm. and recording and recording our voices over them. Okay over our phones you mm. feel me we made a little like a little i try to approach it a scientific way i put some textbooks around the phone and shit mm. to innovative like, yeah you feel me to like keep the sound and have my phone mic stand, you knew that to like to do that up. at 13 14 kind of sort of yeah I'm, I'm a big analyzer like yeah from okay. young like i feel like that's a scorpion trait too like we mm. real obsessive so once we take heed into something we're gonna really we gonna really dig deep into it. Like if I like some, I'm a, I'm gonna know everything about it. You feel mm-hmm. me? Words. So. I was trying to think if I agreed that Scorpios are obsessive. I think yeah. I do agree with that. Yeah, we could be. We could be. I'm a cool obsessive though. I ain't okay. gonna feel me like be at your window watching <laughs> you 3 a.m. Obsessive. I'm a cool obsessive. Like I just want to know what, what makes me like. I want to know about what makes me like what I like. You know. I just want to know about it. That makes sense. I have to know about it. That makes sense. And I think that it makes you better because, you know, like, I'm sure that it wouldn't have sounded as good if the textbooks wasn't around. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. It'll probably sounded real echoey. It'll probably sounded bad. I still got those tracks, you feel me? A couple of them. Where them shit just not. You be listening to them? Uh, when we feel nostalgic, when we feel nostalgic, nah, 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 it's not cringy. I fuck with them. My first v- music video is cringy. Uh, Facts, 2014, because I'm like, damn, this is a, this is nothing like what right. I'm doing now. You feel me? I'm like, what is it? What am I doing? Like, yeah. like <laughs> I feel like that's a part of learning, learning like, and growing and working at your craft. You, you could definitely better. see the progress though. Like, where that's love why that. I love it the most. Because I'm like, yo, I really got my first music video. And my most recent music video, and you could see like the progress, and it's just fire. Word. Period. Because if they look the same, then yeah, then that you would be saying something. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Word. Like the lyrics different, the energy different, the the chemistry different. Yeah. Everything just different. Word. Everything is top shelf level now. So I noticed that. Well, you just put a lot of emphasis on Twist, but Twist is in all of your album titles. That's Love a that. Fact. I'm so, obsessed with myself. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is? Damn, I thought it was clever marketing. You just like yourself. That too, that too. A little bit of that too. Which one is it more? It's more about me liking myself. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to lie. Damn. I'm not going to lie. All right, well, I'm going to still give you the credit for it. So just take the flowers. So love that. Um, So do you intend on keeping that? Like, do you want to switch up? Do you want to deviate from that? For sure. Nah, I don't plan on deviating from it at all. Except for the fact that I do got a sneaky move. Okay. A, a sneaky move up my sleeve. I don't really want to give it away, but not too much. But, not too much. But as far as music, when it drop, it's not gonna be surrounded by a twist name. Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna be surrounded by a twist name. It's gonna be surrounded by the shit that twist like to do. Okay. So twist, but not twist. Yeah. Okay. Twist got it. Got it and etc <laughs> okay so when it comes to making albums do you still care about the body of work like are you looking at an album as like a complete album or do you feel like it's just singles because i know playlisting is real real big now yeah so it's yeah, like yeah, you people don't know. even really care about the albums as much how do you yeah, everybody everybody's um 
everybody's strategy is to have a hot single, right? Drop a hot video, Get market it, mm-hmm. and and boom. You yeah. feel me? Snap of a finger, and that works. You feel me? That works. Sometimes. I'm a little old school though. I definitely do take heed into the body of work. Like I, I def like when I dropped my first. My first project, I was writing those songs and like, I literally wrote my intro, Potent. That's mm-hmm. that's like one of my most fire songs on the whole, on the whole shit. Mm-hmm. It's like I wrote that shit in like 2016. Okay. And I didn't drop the I didn't drop the project till 2019. That's really me? risky because I feel like the sound changes and sometimes like and you ever listen why, to an album and it sounds dated. And that's why I knew I was gifted. I Period. can't lie. That's how I knew I was I was a little different. You feel me? Because my music was timeless. Like literally to this day, I literally I, I got my gram deleted. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm basically at square one right now, but not really square one because I already put in the footwork. You feel me? Right. So it's like I'm just getting back. But like I'm saying, I'm dropping my old songs over mm-hmm. again. And everybody's like, yo, like the feedback is crazy. And it's always been crazy. It's like. I just calculated as far as like what's been going on. Mm-hmm. I just basically with my new gram, I'm just calculating it, just redropping on my old shit just the right way, like just a different way. It's like it's like if you could go back in time and do shit over, how would right. you do it? That's basically what I'm that's doing. That's a really good way to look at it. Mixing We're going to get into the, the deleted IG too, but mm-hmm. that's a really good way to look at it. <laughs> um, so when it comes to, I know you said you're making timeless tracks. You're aiming to make timeless tracks. So yeah, how do you pick your track list? Well, you said you good at picking out like what's good and what's not. Yeah, facts. So I you got be a making good, music I got a good feel like it's not music. Yeah. If I feel like it's not good, I'm going to tweak it till it is. Okay. That go, that go into the twist shit too. I feel like I could twist any any beat into that my type of my type of thing you feel me that's okay. when i took it into an artist point of view that was after i was done smoking all the weed and i picked up the mic still smoking all the weed but when i picked up the mic i'm like damn what am i gonna say when they ask me why my name is twist i was literally yeah. literally plotting and planning for that and i'm just like yo like i could turn any vibe into my vibe like i could get hype i could get cool you feel me i could get on some romantic shit. I could get on some fuck you shit. Mm -hmm. So how do you pick which one of those songs you want to go on a certain project? Hmm. Because I know you said you're looking at it as a whole body of work. So how Hmm. do you pick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, with my first... I could... How? With my first... I didn't really like... You know how most, most artists, they have a lot of resources where where they record hundreds of songs, you right. feel me? Some even thousands, like yeah. real life. I I can't I can't imagine recording a thousand songs for one like for one project, but I see how they do it, you know, cuz yeah. like when you up there, you locked in, like that's all you doing, you feel me? Me I'm like I'm way more strategic with it. Like I'm mm. sitting on my tracks for a minute before I actually go and record them. Okay. I'm rehearsing them in my house hundreds of times, you feel me, just to make sure I like it. Like, I, And I'm rehearsing them in front of different people, like mm-hmm. people I know, people I don't know, you feel me? I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking for it before I actually go jump in the booth. Like, okay. And I've always been like that. So it's like when I recorded the song for my first project and even my second project, it's like mm-hmm. I already know this is what I want on it. Okay. The, the hard part was was the the order you mm. feel me but so how do you make the order like how do you do you go according to mood how you feel um, when you listen to it with my first with my first project i i ain't have too much confidence in myself with the okay. order so shout out to my big cousin young maestro That's he's humble. actually he's actually on my on my project number i forgot what number that is but the song called chest pains okay we shot that in miami recorded it in miami that was like my first time feeling like an actual artist, like mm-hmm. fresh off the plane, 12 a.m. I changed my clothes. He picking me up from the crib. We go to the studio. Felt like hot shit. Hennessy, oxtail, rice and peas. <laughs> and then we just vibing, you feel me? Like, word. And like a couple of days later, while I'm still in Miami, we shoot the video. You feel me? It was just like, I'm just like, wow, I'm out here on some movie star shit. You feel me? It was like my first taste of a business yeah. where but shout outs to him um he he actually helped me pick my track list like i gave him all the songs he was helping me master them 
He do a little engineering on okay. the side too. Yeah, like he was a multi talented. Yeah, he that. a man of many many talents for real words, especially when it comes to music. He a little older than me too, so he had a little bit more wisdom with it. He was like a mentor, like when I was doing my own thing first, still still doing my own thing. But yeah, like I handed him all my tracks, all 13, 14 of them, however much it was. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yo, I'm going to come back to you with the list. And he came back to me with the list. I listened to them in that order. And I and I explained to him what type of vibe it was giving. And he, okay. I was like, yo, it sound like it sound like you building it up, going crazy and then bringing it back down. You feel me? It's like a party, like. You starting it up, you got right. a climax, and then you just gradually right. cooling. And he was like, "Yeah, that's exactly the type of vibe I was giving." I'm like, "Yo, I like that strategy. Love I that." Like th I was like, "Yeah, I like that. Uh, I love it actually." And I was like, "Yeah, like yeah, let's do it like that." And push come to shove, that shit was a that shit was a classic. Like it's it's still spinning to this day. Word, like it's I'm very proud of that shit. That's like my prized possession. Word. So. Like you just mentioned, your songs do have a lot of different vibes. I feel like specifically, like antisocial and much <laughs> higher. I think that they sound like two. It, it could damn near be twists. a different yeah. artist. Yeah, for yeah. me. So um, how would you describe your music to somebody <laughs> that never heard of it, doesn't know what a twist is, don't even know how to do the twist? I just feel like I just feel like if you if you jumping into twist music, like it's it's a little it's. It's broadly surrounded, all surrounded by by the same thing. Just the fact of it's just like different factors of the same thing. Basically, it's just me smoking weed, having fun, and it's just like everything that happens around smoking weed and having fun. Okay, you feel me? And it's just like it's a lot that goes into that. Like I could be smoking weed, having fun in the club. I could be smoking weed, chilling with my family. Okay, so let's say this. The person that we're talking about right now, they've never heard Twist and they don't smoke weed. Ooh. That's T. They don't smoke weed? Yeah. I got a lot of people that actually don't smoke weed and bum my shit, and it makes them want to smoke weed. Okay, so that's, what that's a good tell, That's, that's what, what they tell me. It. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> I'll be feeling accomplished when they come to me like that. They be like, yo, when I listen to your music, I get high, son. Like, that shit... That shit get me high, son. You feel me? I'd be like, yeah, like. So give us three adjectives. Three adjectives to the music. Yeah, to describe your music. Relaxing. Okay. One of them. Innovative. Okay. <laughs> it's innovative because you go hear some shit you didn't expect to hear. <laughs> no, I definitely agree. I think that the. When I saw your Instagram and then I listened to your music, it definitely, like, I didn't expect you to give, yeah, like, an right? anti-social yeah, vibe. You're not gonna, you're yeah, you're not going to expect nothing that you're hearing, you feel me? Every song going to be a surprise in some sort of form, you feel me? And That's I love, a fact. I love that about me, word. I love that about me, word. It keeps it keeps people on their toes because it's like I don't feel like I'm gonna be one of those artists that's like yo he's just dropping that same flow on different yeah. beats you feel me nah I'm not trying to do that don't get it twisted I done wrote a little bit of my strategy and it's feel me it's crazy that I'm gonna even give this out because well you giving out the source for free word love it's that. a little little bit of source but it's like songs that I really like mm -hmm. when I'm writing new songs I'm I'm just continuing the song that I really like and I'm okay. and I keep going and then I that's just change and then I just change the beat. Wow, that's interesting. I've actually never twisted. heard anybody. Mm. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm following the twisting. I like it. Okay, <laughs> so I was actually going to ask you what separates you from other artists cuz I feel like music is a little yeah, it's, oversaturated. it's crowded. Yeah, yeah it's crowded. very crowded. It's a big room. Yeah. So I feel like you kind of touched on it a little bit more, but really, like, go ahead and... What do you think separates you from other artists? Um. Well, for one... Artists. For one, I feel like a lot of the artists coming up right now, they're coming up with a controversy. And, okay. And I'm going to do, like I said, I'm I'm high, I'm chilling. I ain't really into the into yeah. the rah-rah, you feel me? So... I don't really have too much controversy around my name. Like, if there is, I'm not, I'm not aware yet. You feel me? Somebody knows, but not me. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, I don't got too much controversy around my name, and I feel like that's also another reason why it's gonna take a little bit longer. 
Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because people people hook on to violence like that's just that's, that's just what it's about. Like when you when you when you hear like New York music, you think of New York drill. You think of K Flock right now. You feel me? You think of Shawnee Bin Laden. You you think of you, you think of like dope artists, but they rapping about violence. You know, mm-hmm. and don't get it twisted. I be rapping about a little violence too. A little, a little violence. You feel me? Word. Like my mom done pulled me up about a couple tracks. Like what is this? You feel me? Like, so your family when they listen to the music, like they be like, they be like, wow. Mm, wow, like, that's tea. And wow could go any way. Like wow could go any direction. Like wow, I can't believe this is you. Like wow, yeah. wow, this is fire. Like wow, you really said that. So what's the craziest reaction you've gotten from a family member, whether it be your mother, father, siblings? Like, what's the um, craziest reaction you've gotten when somebody has heard your music? More time, I could I could surround it all 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 on a one phrase like more time my family come back to me like yo you just a freaky ass scorpion <laughs> like that's what they tell me okay. it's, it's it's a lot that they be saying but it's all surrounded by the one thing that they just like yo you a freaky ass scorpion bro. so does your mother like is she a regular listener because yeah, if that's what she gets from it, if that's what they get from it, right? Yeah. <laughs> like that's how they describe it. Your mother regularly listens to you be the freaky. Not ass regularly. Scorpion. She's a big Trini woman, so she's okay. regularly bumping soca and, okay. and doing her. Yeah, thing. we know how to get it up. But yeah. wait, yeah, you feel me? But when when she tap into my music, she know what's going on. You feel me? Like she know what okay. I'm talking about. She done been to my performances. She see what I do. How she feel? She How does that, what is that she, conversation like? For after? one, she's always proud. It's a lot Love of that. pride going on. You feel me? Because it's Love like that. all eyes on me. And she said, "That's my son." You <laughs> feel me? Yes. Yeah, we it's, know how the Caribbean parents. Yeah, do. it's always like that. You feel me? So it's always a sense of pride every time I'm doing my thing. Like she'd be front line. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Whenever she could be. So yeah. I would imagine growing up, you listened to a lot of soca. Yeah, I did. And yeah. I know you mentioned a lot of like Wiz Khalifa and stuff. So yeah. what? What did you listen to growing up? Who did you listen to growing up? Who do you feel like influenced your sound the most? I know you touched on, like, you know, Schoolboy Q and them. Yeah, Wiz definitely influenced the way I speak on tracks, like, especially my first tracks, like, even the the sense of me keeping my low tone of voice. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, cause my first, my first project is like all of, I'm, I'm probably turned up in like a few of them, but mm-hmm. more time I'm, I'm in my low tone of voice. Like I'm chilling. Like I could remember like sitting, sitting down recording most of those tracks. And I feel like if I'm sitting down, I'm, I'm really chilling. So like Wiz Khalifa, I definitely got that vibe from like. Sitting down is interesting. Yeah. I definitely got that vibe from like him. I don't watch them like sit down and record his own music. You feel me? So. I be just feeling like that's how you get that vibe, like that relaxed, chill okay. vibe. Like it come natural, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So I just be like, yeah, I got that from, I feel like I got that from him. Chief Keef, when it came to turning up, okay. Chief Keef was a heavy inspiration. Like the fact that he just didn't give a, he didn't really care about nothing he At was all. saying. Yeah, like. And he was free. St- more, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was freestyling. Like, yeah, we all right. But I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure most of the shit he was saying when he really got in tune, he was just in the booth going. You feel Robin. me? I've still yet to ever do that. I've never done that. Like, so you've I, had to write every single thing down. I've always wrote everything. Okay. Uh, word like everything always been ca- everything is calculated with me. Like I feel okay. like everything is calculated. I never really like I freestyle in my crib mm-hmm. to catch the vibe, but. Mm-hmm. Once I catch that vibe, I'm... So what is your recording pr- process like overall? Like, are you a... I know you said you write, but, like, do you, like, mumble and then write to the mumble? Or do you, mm. like, how do you pick beats? Like, walk me through that whole process. Hmm. So, like, all right. Because I just started I just started writing a new song. I came about it, like, like I said, uh, if I like a song a lot, I'm going to use it to create, to, to start the, to get Other the songs. ball rolling yeah, yeah. for my new song. You feel right. me? So... And actually, with this song I'm I'm writing, I'm using much higher. Okay. You feel me? Because I really, 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 really like that song. Yeah, that's a good song. Great song. I sample. really, really, really like that shit. So I was like, I'm like, yeah, I got to catch this vibe again. Like, mm-hmm. that's literally what I'm telling myself. So it's like, and then with the beat, I got some talented friends, like some real talented friends. Shout out to South Mode, where he done worked with a lot of blue check artists, you feel me? And mm-hmm. got his name up. 
in a few places and he, he dropped me some heat and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to do this to this. You feel me? So it's like my process, I use a song that I like. I find the vibe I want. More than likely, I already got a song with that vibe. If I don't, mm -hmm. then it's just a fresh thing. I remember Chess Pains being like that. Okay. Chess Pains was totally different from me. I had no song like it. Mm. It was just something I wanted to try. It was totally brand new. It came out came out dope. And it worked. That was yeah, it came out dope. But um, word. But that's usually my approach. I use a song that I like, mm -hmm. start, and then just keep it going. Regular rap and shit. Like, and I use my own. I use my own shit. So I, I know you mentioned. My own shit. I know you mentioned your friend producing your song. Mm -hmm. So is it always somebody you know? Do you like go on YouTube and scroll through beats sometimes? We all go like, on YouTube. Shit, Meek Mill just dropped early mornings, and that's yeah. a YouTube beat. He yeah. said it. He's like, yo, somebody find the producer. Right. <laughs> I got this shit on Everybody YouTube. That shit. Shit on <laughs> you feel me? Exactly. That shit is hard. That shit is hard. I definitely lately. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely tapping in with the actual producers. Like, I, okay. I haven't been on YouTube too much. I actually been spending money buying beats as well, like, okay. lately, for songs I really like. Like, Miami Morning, mm -hmm. I knew I knew what that song was going to be, so I knew that I needed to buy that beat. Like, right. Yeah, so I... I got to spend money to make money. Spend my bread. Shout out to Des Ball out in Dutchie. They go crazy, word. That song is crazy, but yeah. I'm definitely like tapping in with the actual artist. I remember my first project, my little, my little big cousin, cause he older than me, but he's shorter than me. <laughs> you feel me? My son Slick the Reaper. He done handed me a. So y'all all got nicknames over a there. A few beats, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of music going on in my family in different areas though. Not uh -huh. everybody's a rapper, which is dope. You feel me? Love that. Cause you got a little bit of everything. We can all help each other in a sense, you know. Like, okay, so. Hi, I'm Twist. Remember, y'all said yeah. H I G H. Yeah, H I G H. Have you I'm ever Twist. done a session sober? <laughs> the chuckle is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember pulling up to a studio and they said I can't smoke and I didn't. I didn't get. I was running late, so I didn't get to smoke before. Mm -hmm. I dead wasted a whole hour to roll up. And go outside and get high. You don't feel like you could do a sober? Uh, if I already got it, mm -hmm. like I this this was early early times. Like I was I didn't even know these people. You feel me? Like right. I'm just on on the internet looking at studios mm -hmm. for affordable prices, and I'm just pulling up. Like I don't really know anybody. I'm pulling up dolo more time. You feel me? Just getting shit done. So it's like when they tell me I can't smoke weed, I'm just like. I done did I done did sessions not smoking weed like I'm mm -hmm. after I done smoke outside I'm in there for like six hours you feel me so yeah. I ain't really high the last two or three hours right but it's like yeah I didn't I didn't did sessions sober before definitely I actually feel like certain songs I have to do sober. I was gonna ask you like what do you feel like the difference is or how do you yeah, know like what you can do sober what you would want to smoke for yeah like. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, that that goes into that's a great question because that goes into play too. Like for songs like potent, mm -hmm. and like songs like where I feel like I'm I'm trying to catch that super chill vibe. I'm mm -hmm. probably smoking in the booth. Like you feel right. me? Word. But like that don't songs, mess up your your pronunciation. Mm, you ever hear somebody really, on the mic you, and you, you talking like you this? Rap, you rap around it. Like, you, okay. you, yeah, you catch that vibe. It's just, everything just be natural. It's like Wheezy in the booth. You ever heard Wheezy in his intro? He like, no ceilings. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> But I feel like that's his voice, so it's a little different. No, but he's I feel real like if I heard, smoking in that shit, though. Like, I feel he, like if I got on, if I listened to your friend. song and it was like this, hey, what's up, I'm, I'm Twist, I might be like, okay. <laughs> like what's 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 T with his voice right now? <laughs> yeah, but it's just like nah, like it's all about the vibe I'm trying to catch. But no funny shit like for more fast paced songs mm -hmm. like like Ellen the Generous, much higher. Right. Even like shit that's not on project shit like No Suburban Remix when I went viral with Ace Number Five, where like shit like that, I feel like I gotta be I gotta be leveled. I can't be okay. too faded. Word. Yeah. I can't be too faded because I got to keep up with myself. I got to right. be able to have the lung power and the speech. My speech got to be right word because I'm like a stickler with that shit. Like, 
I'll run shit back a hundred times. You feel me? I don't care who say what. Like, oh, this nigga, Period. this nigga got to punch in a hundred. I don't give a goddamn. Because listen, Period. when you hear it, yeah, that shit gonna be slapping. You feel me? So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna take my time. Word. So I got a game for you. A game. Yeah, a game. Wow. So we're all smoking. It's called Smoke a Pass, right? Oh my. You need a shot for this. Okay, so we're going to play Smoke or Pass. Basically, I'm going to say a celebrity, and you're going to tell me if you would smoke with them or if you wouldn't smoke with them. That's fire. And why or why not. That's fire. Let's okay? do it. Let's First do one, it. real easy. And this got a right answer. I'm not going to lie. There's no right or wrong, but this one is a right or wrong. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> not the throwing up the seeds. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could smoke for sure. Why, why and not? we could smoke oh, for oh, many why. reasons. We could smoke together because I would love to ask him about how he came up. You feel me? Yeah. Like Straight Outta Compton was a fire movie, right? And when his part, like when when they was introducing him and and his impact on the game, like I was super interested because like I feel like everybody was cripping in California. Everybody was mm-hmm. blood and shit. But it's like Snoop Dogg was just like. I feel like it was more th- more than a gang shit with him. Yeah. You feel me? Like he just had a a very unique sound coming up. Like yeah. that shit was like fire. You feel me? So it's like he had a, a a different type of voice too. I would say like I wouldn't call it soft, but it's soft. You know, if it's you know not what aggressive. I mean. Yeah, like it's you, calm. Yeah, and yeah. it's like. How do you come up in such an aggressive time and and take, the shit he's saying is type aggressive and too? And take over with a with such a voice yeah. like how you get people to 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 grasp what you're saying sounding so cool? You yeah, feel me? Definitely. And I go into what what I like to do. Like I want people to grasp what I'm saying, right? By st- and just still keeping my cool. You feel me? I don't feel like I want to do too much sometimes. Sometimes I'm gonna do too much though. Definitely makes sense. Okay, next one. Young Miami. Oh, sh- not anybody that's been watching my Instagram. <laughs> no, I love me some Young Miami. Period. Love Miami her. Miami morning. Shout out Young Miami. I would love a Miami morning with Young Miami. <laughs> oh, I'm my. sorry. You said you would love a Miami. I would love a Miami morning. Okay. Love a Miami. Miami. All right. All right. All right. With Young Miami. Yeah, we could smoke together. She could. She could hit the weed. Okay. She could hit the weed for many reasons. Cause for one, she's like top five IG crush. She's not, she's bad. Yeah, she's Carisha's like, bad. She's like in the top five IG crushes. For it, and I'm not one to crush on celebrities. I crush on like, crush on like, like regular Instagram models and shit that I can't reach. I mean, but not so don't stop shooting. <laughs> Shoot for the star, ain't for the moon. I think that's what it is. You feel me? I just, nah, I feel like if I'm going to crush on you, I'm going to make sure you're unreachable. Because a crush ain't really fun when you get your hands on them. You feel me? You kind of That's toxic as fuck. You kind of lose your... That's a very toxic thing to say. <laughs> it's very Scorpio of you. Put it away. Your Scorpio showing. Next one, Bow Wow. Me and Shad Moss could smoke weed together. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Moss is crazy. That's a fact. Me and Bow Wow can smoke weed together. Like Mike was one of my favorite movies growing up. I mean, I wouldn't want to smoke with him while we was that age, but we could smoke now and talk about like how it was making that shit. Cause word, that was fire. Like, okay, word, that was fire to see him young, Mm -hmm. like fresh in the game still, in a big movie. Like that movie was big. Like I ran that shit back. A million times, word. That's Part a two, eh. But word, that movie was legendary. He was just, he was, he was a big impact to the game too. Had us all Harlem shaking and shit. That's how, that, that's your Harlem shake. Yeah, a little, little something, something. You feel me? I'm a Brooklyn nigga anyhow. It give that word, but, but um, I mean, niggas from Brooklyn got shoulders. It just don't look like yeah. you. I used to. I ain't, I ain't really. I ain't really too with this. You be dancing. You be uh, dancing in the club. I don't be dancing like that. Mm. I could. I got rhythm though. I okay. got crazy rhythm. Like word. Love that. Yeah, you gotta have that. But okay. yeah, me and me and Bow, we could smoke weed though. You and Shad, period. That's cool. Yeah, facts. Ray J. <laughs> you smoking with Ray J? <laughs> I would love to. I got a conversation for Ray J that I probably can't bring up right here. So, oh, yeah, we could smoke. 
Okay, you want to get ready? We could smoke. Yeah, we could smoke and and, and and chop it up. Facts, because I need to know certain things. <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah. Word. Okay. Next one, Justin Bieber. Oh shit, the Biebster. <laughs> <laughs> The beef stuff. How is he? Does anyone know? Because last time I read about him, it was yeah. Half his face was numb. Yeah, he going to that know? prayers up. Does anyone know? Prayers up. Okay, but hopefully he's all right. I mean, but yeah, um, me and the beefster could definitely smoke weed together. Okay. He got a lot of cool points from me with that um song he did with Chris Brown at the crib. Shit was a fire song, fire, fire video. Oh, okay. I didn't know if he was talking about next to you. You talking about next to you? No, I don't or think it was called next to you. I don't think it was called next to you. It's when it's when Chris Brown woke up. He had like silk. Everybody had like silk shirts on and shit. It was in the crib. A lot of cars. A lot of beach girls. I mean, I get, we could look it up after because I have yeah, no clue what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. I'm not gonna lie. I think it was um. That is Lil Was Dickie. it that though? That's not Justin Bieber. That's Lil Dicky. You what's mixing up song? your white boys. All right, what's the song where, where Bieber and Chris Brown was in their crib? Yeah, they do. We're going to look it up. We're going to look yeah, it up. We're going to look it up after. We Next one, Ice after. Spice. <laughs> she's fire. She's, she's dope. She's a dope artist. Word. She's a dope artist. Yeah. But would you smoke with her? If I'm rolling it, yeah. You don't think she could roll? She probably could, but... Mm. What makes you doubt her? I'm not doubting her. That's what I'm, sounds I'm like. just like, when I'm... That's just me. Like, especially with females, I'm going to want to I'm gonna wanna roll it first. Like, yeah, you could okay. roll it after. But it's like... Because it's like how I said in my song. Like, if I tell you ball up, is you going to roll it? You feel me? So it's like, I'm going to ask you to roll up. You're going to have your chance. But to kick it off, I feel like I got to kick gotta it start. off. You got to start. Yeah. I think that's man shit. Yeah. That's that's man shit. Okay. Kanye West. Ha, <laughs> we do. <laughs> in 2022. What's today? The 12th? October 12th, 2022. Are you smoking yeah, with Kanye West? Kanye West. It's a lot to learn from him. You feel me? I mean, he's he's heavily judged. You feel me? Everybody walks different roads of life. You feel me? Nobody really knows what's really going on behind closed doors because a, a lot of a lot of this shit we see on social media is fabricated that's a fact and targeted you feel me and so it's like we don't really know what be going on for real i think i could learn a lot from him i actually watched the documentary they dropped from him and i loved it mm-hmm. it was inspiring where Definitely. like i i love watching the the music documentaries and just seeing people come up because you know like that's the hope that should give yeah. you hope for real like or my shit is inspiring. Kanye's he's a he's a definitely an inspiring man. Like watching him run for his like doing mad beats for free and getting yeah. fucked over, you feel me? And like still coming back strong doing his own thing, like his ambition was crazy. Yeah, crazy. Like yeah. and yeah, I'm on that. Yeah. So it appears that you like to learn from any and everybody. Yeah, you can. I'm, I'm, I'm a, yeah. That's why you smoking with all these people. Yeah, so, what's I, the type of person that you not smoking with? I'm not gonna actually point out from. names, but, but I feel like you can learn anything from anybody if you try. Nah, not really. Some people just, just, just not here. You feel me? Like they, they, they minds just be on bullshit. Like you got, okay. you got, like for instance, you got homeboys that just wanna. Play the block all day. You feel me? That's that's okay. I don't really want to smoke with you for real. You feel okay. me? Because what are we doing after this? But why can't it just be a site? Yeah, but what's next? You go and do whatever you think is next, and he gonna play the block. Yeah, but it's like I could have did this in my crib. You Not respectfully. You could have paced it. You could have came to my crib, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah, I right could smoke that. in my house. Why did I come outside for this? That's a fact. Okay. So as long as you got something to teach, he's willing to smoke. So, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. More time. More, More time. And if you're, right. if you're a cool person, if, if we if we vibing, like, I mean, smoking is a social, That's a it's fact. a social type of thing. You feel me? So if, if we just connect like that, then we connect like that. But it's, I ain't, I ain't too friendly. So it's going, yeah. Okay. It's going to take something. Okay, so pivoting. 
Instagram. We mentioned it earlier. What happened with this old Instagram? My old Instagram. Um, my viralized Instagram. Rest in peace, man. Straight cash twist underscore. Damn. But um, what had happened was um, <laughs> what was that June, June, June twenty something. Last, That's the exact date for last me. year, I think it was the 26th to be exact. Where I had this viral moment, a super viral moment. I'm not sure if y'all seen it or not. You feel me? But it's like, tell the people then what's the viral moment? What happened? It was basic, we need all the details. It was basically one of my um, one of my tenant, a fellow tenant in my grandmother's building that I grew up in mm-hmm. in Crown Heights. He had a dog, very cool dog, pit bull, feel me? Mad healthy, mad big, mad strong, cool dog, you feel me? Every time we see the dog, it's love. Mm-hmm. The, the the man was was getting ill, you feel me? He even passed away. That's, that's further down the story. He even passed away, though. He was getting ill, you feel me? He ain't have the strength to walk okay. this big-ass dog, you feel me? Okay. And he was, he was also living there with his... Um, with his moms who was taking care of him because he was getting ill and shit. And she couldn't do it because she older than him, you feel right. me? So they I guess they had the 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 cousin over taking care of like all the all the all the handy man work, you feel me? Okay. And he was a little zod, I guess, a little out of it. Fast forward, he's walking the dog. This is the cousin walking the dog. Yeah, the okay. cousin is walking the dog because the owner is ill, right. you feel me? He's walking the dog, dog come outside. Me and my homeboys, we chilling, regular shit, regular us shit. We chilling, cooling, summer nights. He's walking the dog. We all say what up to the dog. See him go off. I'm like, yeah, regular shit. He comes back. The dog's face is bloody. You feel me? Word, word. That is not mother. where I thought the story was going. That's where it's going. The That's dog's it. face is bloody. You feel me? The dog is panting. Crazy. You feel me? Out of breath. Can't even stand. He's dragging the dog oh. into the into the courtyard of the building. You feel me? Like, he's tugging him. Telling him, like, Yo, come on, come on. And the dog, like, don't even got much left. You feel me? So, me, I'm a dog owner. You feel me? My dog just passed away this year in July. Oh, I'm sorry. You feel me? That's crazy. Word. That shit was crazy to me. But word. So, it's like... First thing, like I just, I just didn't know how to hold it down. You feel me? Like I'm usually, I, ain't, I'm not a violent nigga. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm not a violent person at all. But I did not know how to, how to not step in. You feel me? I, I just couldn't not step in. So I asked him immediately, like, "Yo, what's up? Yeah. Like, how did, how this happen? Right. Like, you, I just seen you walk out. Right. With this dog. You feel me? He was Gucci. He tells me." <coughs> In his words, he tells me nothing nothing is wrong. The dog was just out here eating bricks and bottles. Glass bottles. He's that's what he told me. He thought she was dumb. Or he or he's dumb. Mm, that's so he. it's is one or the other. You feel me? That's what he told me though. So after he tells me that, I take the dog from him. Okay. Where I took the dog from him. And you knew, well, you said they were in your Because I know the building, owner. So you know, yeah, okay, you feel me? He's a friend of my grandma. Like, he done right. did housework in my crib. Right. You feel me? So, yeah, I take the dog. I'm like, yo, like, this is, I know who dog this is. Like, you bugging out, bro. Mm-hmm. Feel me? I take the dog. I take the him and the dog upstairs. And I explain, I explain to the owner what he did. You feel me? The, owner is furious you mm-hmm. feel me but he's so. but at the same time he's weak you feel me like, like he's laughing? out of it oh no 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 like no, okay. i'm not laughing <laughs> yeah, word. i'm laughing a little bit i'm laughing a little bit but like he's furious he wants me to like whoop this dude's ass mind you son is his cousin you feel me mm-hmm. he's telling me like yo whoop this nigga ass like yeah fuck him up like that's his exact words i don't know if we blurting that or not He's like, yo, okay. fuck him up, fuck him up. You feel me? I'm like, nah, 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 nah. You feel me? I'm not violent, but I'm asking, son, like, yo, why you did that? Right. I'm just trying to find some understanding and, like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? Like, why you did that? Like, 
is the dog some type of threat to you, you feel me? He ain't got no answers for me. You feel me? So, and I just... That's crazy. That just made me a little more furious because it's like, damn, bro, like, you one of them nasty type of dudes that right. just... That's just out here punishing animals, yeah. you feel me? Those are the worst type of people, like... Because like they can't from, defend from themselves. From me being a kid watching Toy Story, seeing that badass boy punishing his <laughs> animals, and I didn't like that from young. I don't like that. Mm. You feel me? So that just made me furious. So I'm like, yo, bro. I'm like, I right, bet. I'm like, this is what you're going to do, right? So I'm, I'm already thinking, like, four steps ahead. I'm like, I'm like, yo, if I take this shit too far, it's going to be jail. You feel me? I'm already, I'm already thinking that. So I'm like, I, right. I'm like, what you could do, you're gonna come back downstairs, mm -hmm. and you're gonna apologize to everyone that you passed by with this dog, for doing what you did to the dog. You feel me? He's like, okay. He's like, he's like, that's cool. He's like, he's like, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, but you gotta put the leash that you was pulling the dog oh. with on your neck. That was the that was the twist. But I can't figure out why he listening to you. Why he listening to yeah. me? Yeah. Because I'm gonna put you. He can't. He knew he can't beat me. Okay. Like. Okay. It was. It's. It's. It's obvious you can't beat me. You feel me? So you scared. Yeah, and Got you're it. taking advantage of somebody that can't yeah. defend themselves. Right. You're being a super bully yeah. to a pit bull that if he wanted to, fuck you up. Could do you in. You yeah. feel me? Like take you out. But um, so yeah, back to that. I'm telling him, I'm like, yo, bro, put this, put this on your neck. Come downstairs and apologize. You feel me? And everything will be okay. You come back upstairs, everything cool. He's 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 iffy about the leash on the neck part. I'm like, yo, bro, if you don't put this leash on your neck, it's gonna be a situation. <laughs> it's gonna. It's, <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro, it's gonna be, it's gonna go somewhere we it's gonna go somewhere you don't wanna take it. The laugh with the you feel me? Just yeah, took word. me out. Word, word, word. I'm like, yo, it's gonna go somewhere you don't wanna take it, bro. And right now I'm I'm in the owner's crib. I'm like, we're in we're in so and so's house. I got all he already gave me the right to whoop your ass right here. Mm -hmm. I'm not breaking no laws right now. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, I will do it to you right here in this living room. He's, mm -hmm. he's like, come on, man. I'm like, no, bro. No, bro, because look at the dog. Dog's still panting, you feel me? Dog's mm. still out of it. Yeah. I'm like, nah, son, this shit is crazy. So push come to shove. He puts the leash on his neck, you feel me? And we go back downstairs, and he starts apologizing with no energy, though. He's apologizing, but he's mm -hmm. doing, he's like, yo, sorry about the dog, man. Sorry about the dog, man. Like, he's just walking up and to the homeboy, like, sorry about it. Yeah, that's that's not good enough. I'm like, yo, bro, like, I'm like, you don't got no sincerity in your apology. Like, you don't even feel like you did anything wrong. Mm -hmm. So now we back outside. My other homeboys is asking, I'm like, yo, why you did that to the dog? And he, and he said this bricks and bottle shit again. And it just, it just set me off. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how this relates to the Instagram. This is how, because I posted it on oh. Instagram. So which part did you post on Instagram? The the, the snap, the viral part. Yeah, when I uh, snap, when I snap, yeah. it 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 was definitely a bad move. It was on Instagram. You feel me? And it went crazy. I did uh. not. I expected it to do something. Mm -hmm. I was just spreading awareness on the bad type of people that are. Yeah. But that shit went a whole next global level, like mm. to the point. It's people in my DM in different languages, and I gotta untrans. I gotta translate it. A whole GoFundMe was started, like for the man, for the dog. Oh, okay. Word, like buying the dog all types of goodies and shit. It was crazy, like, but anyways, that shit was, like, it was two sides to it. Like, people yeah. looked at me as a hero and people looked at me as a villain, you feel me? So, yeah. people that looked at me as a villain, my shit was getting flagged. Mm -hmm. That shit was making my account mad sensitive, yeah. you feel me? And it was just, it was to the point where I couldn't even, I couldn't, like, even in the DM. I would write certain words mm -hmm. and faith and Instagram was flagging me for, for personal messages. I'm like, mm. like, when did that start? Like, yeah. how are y'all in my messages telling me I can't write this? You feel me? Like right. it was, it was unbelievable to me, but word, like it was just the, 
the flags just kept adding up and adding up and adding up. Like, I can't lie. It was that mixed with. <laughs> Every time you laugh and cover your mouth, I just feel like it's something. It was it was that mixed with some <laughs> with some extracurricular activities that was getting me flagged. Were okay close friends activities. Okay, so glad you brought that up. So, um, when I looked on your Instagram, right, everything's cool. <laughs> so I did some more research and I went on that Twitter, right? Oh my! And God. I was a little. <laughs> It's a little thrown off. Look at, look at. So I just want to know, like, what's T with the Twitter? Like, what's 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 up with that? What's <laughs> going on on the Twitter? That is going. No, on. it's a lot going on on the Twitter. Actually, I want you to explain it. Mm. We'll be here when you're done with that, sick. <laughs> oh man, the Twitter. Mm-hmm. The Twitter. The, Twitter is a different world as a whole. Everyone knows. Okay. Twitter is a different world. Um. But, um, yeah, like, what can I say? <laughs> Gus, you know? Yeah, you didn't say nothing to the people them yet. The people them still don't know. What Watch your Twitter. I, yo. You want to shout out your Twitter? So they can nah, I don't. You? Okay, not at all. I mean, I could. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yo, but, like, wow, that shit got me hot. So, <laughs> let me ask you. You don't ever feel like. Like, what if a fan comes to visit? Yo, fans What if a label visit. comes to visit? They do visit, and I mean... So, like, we just don't care? Or, like, it's just fun, it's social media? Because some people take that route, like, what's your of, views on it? What's going on? Of, it's, it's a sense of rebelliousness in it. Okay. Like, it's like, a, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Okay. It's like, so what? It is what it is, you right? You feel me? Like, so what? You feel me? And it's... it's, it's is bringing in is bringing in revenue you feel me so okay. it's like it's funny because when i asked you earlier what your two jobs was you didn't mention that because <laughs> that's like i asked him what his two jobs was i got he told like me six something jobs if we gonna be in oh, particular that's yeah that's I, got, I got a lot of jobs but i got a lot of things to to do business with okay <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's, Yo, that's all he has to say on that. Apparently, but the yeah, the Twitter is it, it's it's cool. You feel me? It's not too much, but it's enough. Definitely enough. It's enough. It's a little sneak peek to close friends activities, like you said. Yeah, close yeah, friends. Yeah, to what's, been, to what's been going on in the close friends activity? Where that's like close friends but public. Where okay, so let me ask. In terms of women, you okay with your? This shit funny, like. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Say what nah, What's funny? Ahead, Tell me. Ahead. Put me on. Because <laughs> what you just said, like, so I went into the... T- <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jesus. I swear to God on my way here, I'm like, yo, I know they went into my Twitter, bro. They're going to press me. 100%. So in terms of women, are you okay with your, your women having the same extracurricular activities? Or is Ooh. that something for you while you're single? I mean, it's... It's, it's rules and regulations to my madness. It's madness, okay. but it's a method to the madness. And I okay. always tell my, I always tell the people I love that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. People that I actually feel like I gotta explain myself to. You feel exactly. me? Definitely, because there's certain people I definitely do have to explain myself to. You feel me? So and it's, I feel like it's rule, it's rules. Like yeah, like you could take it, you could take it. Where you want to take it as my woman, you can mm-hmm. take it where you want to take it, but don't okay. be disrespectful. Okay, love that, love that. Or like just no and, double standards and don't around be here. That's great. Publicly disrespectful. So maybe you might you listen. I'm I'm a real I'm a real realistic person. You might get away with being disrespectful, okay. but the level the level is going to determine whether you get away with it or not. You feel me? Like if we okay. can handle the disrespect. Just us, that's mm-hmm. that's good and great. But if my if the family is involved or outsiders is involved yeah. and we still gotta too much. deal with yeah, it's too much. You feel me? Like yeah. why why is this even a situation? You feel me? Like it don't make no sense. But um yeah, like I'm fair. I'm I'm fair game with everything, word, with everything. 
Hashtag no double standards. We yeah, no that. double standards. I'm okay. fair game. So I know you said that you be watching like music documentaries and stuff. So did you watch the BT Hip Hop Awards recently? I haven't seen. I was actually at work. Okay. I was at work. Where did you see any of the ciphers? Uh, I seen the pieces on Twitter. I seen the I seen Meek Mill's post about how he felt embarrassed. Right. So I was gonna ask you about that. So how do you feel? Um, as an artist, to see like influencers that don't necessarily dabble, and dabble in music at all, yeah, to have that type have of platform as opposed to like an actual artist. Like us, and like I said earlier, like a lot of this shit is fabricated and targeted. Like yeah. they they're doing it for a purpose. Like it's it's not a it's a specific reason why specific people is up there. You feel yeah. me? Like some people like to think like to think like yeah you grind hard you you get this spot but it's it's as you as you if you get in tune with the music industry mm -hmm. <clears throat> you'll begin to learn a lot of it is calculated yeah you feel me like even the way artists blow up like right. six nine was a, a industry plant that's when i first found out about i feel like that's when i first found out about industry plants like mm -hmm. i didn't even know like people like this could just pop like that yeah. like because it's like we woke up one day there was no six nine we woke up the next day All over and gummo was going crazy yeah and it's like who is this kid you feel me right. so it's like it's like yeah a lot of a lot of stuff that going in the music industry is is calculated and i feel like that's why they was there you know like mm -hmm. to get a certain reaction like and yeah. and people and people gravitate to negativity faster than the Definitely. positivity. Definitely. You feel me? 12. So you feel like she got up there off of being Meek's baby mother, Milan. I mean, for one, she she was she someone to she someone to talk about. Yeah. They, everybody that was up there was someone to talk about. Right. Someone that's been in headlines. You feel me? She's Milano Rouge. Like that's the homeboys is wearing that. The women is wearing that. She's Meek's woman. Yeah. Like she she's somebody, on she's, some, she's someone to talk about. You yeah. feel me? So, yeah, she had a reason to be up there. I mean, the way she. Do you have opinions on any of the ciphers that you saw? I know you said you didn't see all of them. I actually, I actually didn't tune into the hit. I felt like it was, I felt like it was a joke. Like mm. I felt like it was gonna be a joke. Like mm -hmm. I f as the years come, because I'm I'm tuned in with music and. And I'm a big analyzer, and I just, yeah. I just, I just recognize certain things. And it, even like growing up as a whole, like I've, I've learned to stir away from TV. Like people think you really gotta stay away from your phone, but I feel like you gotta stay away from, from TV, cause it's like more than your phone. Yeah, I feel like you gotta stay away from TV, cause they choose what you're seeing on the TV. You feel me? I'm choosing what I'm watching on my phone. You think so? Yeah. I feel like algorithms are choosing what you're Yeah, saying. but not if I go in my search engine and do my own thing. When I hit when I hit search on Instagram, that's yeah. not no algorithm. I hit search on Twitter, that's no but algorithm. But what about your suggested posts and like your, the shit that's on your timeline I from people that hit, you don't necessarily I follow? I always hit take this shit out. Me too. Word. I don't like no suggestions let on me, my shit. Yeah, let me choose what I want to do. You yeah. feel me? And I already know the shit that's going on. Like our phones are listening to us, giving us the... Like, I'm talking about Nike with my homeboy. Next thing you know, I scroll past a damn Nike ad right. on Instagram. I'm like, wow, like, that's really crazy, you know? But, yeah, I just feel like I'm in I'm in more control. Like, I'm in control of what, of what I'm feeding into my brain on my phone, you feel me? And I just feel like with the TV, you got to go by their programming, you feel yeah. me? Like, you choose the channel, but... So, you mentioned everything being calculated. Um, you know, opportunities are scarce. Do you feel like there's scars in New York? Like, do you feel like New York still, you know, everybody always says, like, one of the reasons New York doesn't do well is because, like, everybody be hating on each other. Do you feel like New York is still a bunch of haters? Like, how do you feel about like, New York scene and your opportunities as a color artist? Um, I feel like this, uh, it's, I feel like it's a bunch of opportunities in New York. Mm -hmm. I feel like you gotta pay for them though. Okay. I feel like as a whole, New York is an expensive state, and I feel like everything costs bread. Like yeah, yeah, you're gonna be, you could be like super fire, but it's not really what you know. It's who you know. You know. So yeah. 
and you gotta pay to be in some of these rooms unless you unless you got them resources, you feel me? You got them them innies, mm -hmm. as us New York people call it, you feel me? Um, honestly, I'm a New York person. I've never referred to anything other than a belly button as an innie. Where in the money you don't know about the Junior yeah. Show? Listen, shout out to my <laughs> dudes trapping safely, but an uh, innie is someone on the inside that okay. can help you out. Contact tools definitely let me know what you was talking what about. What you need like, to do. Yeah, okay. Right. Innie. I learned a new word today. Innie. New Yorkers know what's going on. You okay. Me? Or, so, yeah, I feel like it is calculated. You feel mm -hmm. me? I feel like it's definitely calculated. These DJs and these, these spokes people like the people that got a voice for yeah. the for the New York scene I feel like they know who's buzzing right you feel me and they push that person you feel me because yeah. that's what gets reviews right you feel me so I feel like that's what's going on um, I feel like it's, it's it's a few people out here that take risks and break new artists mm -hmm. you feel me shout outs to um, Drewski I feel like he does that Shout out, you me? Shout out to Drewski Fox. He was he was at the record label showcase. Feel me? Showed love. Love that. Yeah, it was dope. So, how do you feel about support from other New York <coughs> artists? Do you feel like it's there? Do you feel like New York artists would do more? Um, I feel like I feel like we we too caught up in the political activity. Okay. You feel me? It's a lot of yo he he. He's cool with that person, so we can't be cool with them. Yeah. She's cool with those people, we can't be cool with her. Yeah. You feel me? Like, oh, he's from over there, you can't do this. Right. She's from over there, you can't do that. I feel like it's a lot of that going on, and it's like a barrier. Like, you feel me? Like, feel, and I'm, I'm, I'm one of those. Like, that's another, another thing that separates me as an artist. Cause, like I said, I don't really got no controversy around my name. You feel me? So I ain't really. I ain't really too uncomfortable anywhere. I mean, mm -hmm. there's definitely people and places I'm gonna be uncomfortable in. Yeah. That's just that's just regular shit. But I ain't as far as music, I ain't too I ain't uncomfortable around any type of music scene, you feel me? Like I feel okay. like or So for you personally, um let's say there was another artist popping in New York. Mm -hmm. Lines were drawn, no, you don't fuck with them, that's out. Would you like put it aside to make He's like the real op, like like my friends died and his friends died. Nobody died. Whatever we stand there for. Nobody died. Nobody died. If nobody it died, then why are we be? Mm. Like, do I not like his girlfriend or? Whatever scenario it is, you want to make yeah, that. Let's yeah. want to build one. Let's build one. Okay, so. <clears throat> Um, I feel like men are a little different from me. I don't be really caring like that. Yeah, really and I'm real nonchalant. Mm, okay, so what's something that would really piss you off? Mm. I feel like he got beef. He got like real life beef on the image. Okay. Let's say that he got real life beef on the image. Somebody may or may not have died, but they definitely had a couple physical encounters. Like. And that's my dog. Yeah. So, are you? So that's your opp association. Yeah. Right? So you putting it aside to put they hot, they hot, nah, up on that's, that's that's a big loyalty foul. That's a loyalty foul. I'm big on loyalty. That's you know I mean unless my son is cool with crushing squashing the you feel me, sorting it out. I'll bring it up. Mm -hmm. I'll def I'm definitely the one to be optimistic and bring it up. Like, yo, is there a way you can cause like if it's, if, especially if it's a beneficial opportunity, yeah. you feel me? Sometimes you gotta, you gotta put your pride aside, you feel me? And right. do what's right, you understand? Right. Like, do what's right for you and what's right for the people around you. Words. So then, but you just mentioned that you feel like New York is real picky choosy mm -hmm. with the sides, right? So then you can understand why New York is like that. Yeah, of course. I'm in the streets, for real. Well, not. Don't say that, okay? Yeah, word. You are very much work. Very much sidewalk. I work all day. Absolutely. I got two jobs. And extracurricular activities. Yo, but we're like. Yeah, it 
it'll, it'll, it'll all sort itself out. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you can't, if it can be squashed, it's going to be squashed. If it can't, then it's, 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 it is what it is. You feel I me? Mean? Yeah. Like, on to the next opportunity. So one of the opportunities you got was the Blockwork TV performance, and I yeah, had over two K views. You that loved that. Right. So how did that happen? Um, how did that happen? Well, I actually, I actually spotted Blockwork early in its in its production. Mm -hmm. I liked it. You feel me? I felt like I felt like of all the people trying to do well first. We all noticed um, from the block, you feel me, with AZ in Chicago. I grew mm -hmm. up on that, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I remember seeing him like years ago, like me being like 20, 21, 22, 23, mm -hmm. watching his shit, you feel me? And I was like, yo, that's, that's just a dope concept. Right. So to see somebody in New York, I've seen people in New York do it. Mm -hmm. I ain't really, I ain't really like the vibe, but okay. when I seen block work, He's TV, and it. what they was doing, I'm like, yeah. This feeling a little this this feeling like like it. Like I'm liking yeah. this platform, you feel me? And the artist that was popping up was dope. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really know some of them, you feel me? Like it was okay. like so it was interesting. That's what it was for me. Like it was really upcoming artists, you know? Like it wasn't it wasn't just the hype. Exactly. You feel me? Word. It's a, it's a, it was a little bit of the hype. Really giving people a platform. Yeah, but it was like it yeah. really got a chance. And so I I was like, yo, like let me get up on this. Mm -hmm. And it was early in the game, you feel me? Or I caught them so early. I'm so happy I caught them when I caught them. Charles is Tay and Brady. Or it was so crazy because word, as they pulling up to shoot it, um one of them I think Brad Carr had shut down mm -hmm. on the highway, like it was, well, that's tough. Yeah, it was super delayed. I felt like the universe was working against me a little bit, but word, like pushed on the shelf. I, I stayed patient, you feel me? They sorted it out, got, yeah. got to where, the, where they needed to get to, and we did it. Word. That show was, was dope. That I show like the video. Dope. I feel like I can really feel your energy in it. Yeah. Um, with videos, I feel like Miami Morning and Ellen DeGeneres, I feel like they kind of have like a similar vibe in terms of the visuals. So, like, is that on purpose? Do you, are you the brains behind the videos? Like, how, yeah. does, how do you... Yeah, Ellen the Generous, that was actually my birthday. That's lit. Yeah, that was my birthday night. Where I actually lit. had it in the beginning of the song before the beat drop. Mm -hmm. I had the date stamp, mm -hmm. but I took it out because, like we said, I don't want no date stamps. You feel me? I okay. don't want you to know that I did this. Whatever. Even yeah. though on YouTube it's telling you the date I uploaded it. You feel me? But <clears throat> I didn't want no time stamp on my music. You feel yeah. me? But yeah, that was my birthday, and that was lit. That shit was lit. It was freezing. You can't you really? wouldn't even be able to tell. Yeah, you wouldn't even be That's able to tell. That's how power is. It'd be in the middle of the winter, and I can never it tell. It was so lit, bro. It was freezing. Um, I, I, I literally came up with the whole idea. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm rapping about this moving away like a U-Haul shit. I'm like, yo, I'm going to rent a U-Haul. That, oh, right. that was my main idea. I'm like, yo, for this video, I'm going to rent a fucking U-Haul. Telling all my homeboys, like, yo, I don't know what I'm gonna. I'm like, yo, we're gonna throw a party in the U Haul. My original idea was to get the biggest U Haul mm. and throw a party in that shit. Like, get all the extension cords. Not around, but in. In it. I know that's Close right. the door and throw a party in that shit. Just park Close it up the door. on a dead block and just bug out. Close the door? Yeah, we're gonna bug out in this shit. You feel me? At least for the video. You feel okay. me? Because so, we don't like air room. circulation. Was it COVID then? It wasn't COVID then. Twenty nineteen. Well, I guess it was. It was. It was yeah. just coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was right, just right. coming. It wasn't COVID because nobody was worried. Yeah. Worried. It wasn't no COVID then. So yeah, like we was. Yeah, it was turned. But I came up with. The, I'm like, I need a U-Haul, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna turn this U-Haul the fuck up, and that's gonna be the video. And then when I linked up with Kane Frame and I told him the idea, we linked up. I already had the group of people around. I didn't need to invite anybody because it was my birthday. Right. Anybody Everybody who wanted to be yeah. around me wanted to be around me already. You feel yeah. me? So it was like I had that advantage. I had the crowd. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I'm like, yo. And I got the U-Haul. Shout out to my big cousin Straps. He helped me get it because we're, you know, you got to sign like paperwork and all that bullshit. So he helped me get the U-Haul. Mm -hmm. So it was like, and my aunt Sata had a banner print 
credit for me. Word, shout out to her too. It was I love like, how it's a teamwork. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I'm a big on teamwork family. Also. Word, yeah, I'm love big it. on family. My family is mad big and they're mad strong and it's like mad resources in my family. You know, shout out to down my son Gussie. Word. My son Gussie, you family too, you feel me? They take fire pictures, you feel me? I ain't gotta go, I ain't gotta go nowhere, ask a photographer to come take pictures of me, you feel me? I can literally call my bro and he's, and just like that, he's here, you feel me? So it's like, yeah, I'm big on family and big on the loyalty thing, you feel me? Like, we're never about the legion thing either, like, we want, I'm gonna give and take, you feel me? It's always gonna be feed, feed off of each other. But word though, yeah, like actually. I'm printing a banner in the in the U-Haul, put it up in the U-Haul, um, came frame pulled up. I told him, I literally told him in my exact words, I wanted to look like I'm performing for BET outside. Yeah. Like I want one of those. I wanted to look like one of those outside BET performances, and I just wanted to look fire. And, and that's exactly what we did. Like I had a mic, it wasn't connected to nothing. I had that shit wrapped up. Put put the put the wire in my up my sweater. I just had it. Oh wow! I just had the mic like in my hands, so like just like an illusion, like it was a wireless mic, but that shit was definitely wired. And I get that. Word. I had a little smoke machine on top of the U-Haul as I'm on top of it. Smoke machine going and shit. So you plan all your videos out, or is it like a you have an idea and you bring it to the whoever's shooting a video, and then it's like one video. One video, I did not do that. One video that was real, um, special, supernatural. Mm -hmm. With when I shot that with Space Month, that was the first and only video where I had no say in, okay. in nothing that was going on. He came to me with the locations. Mm -hmm. He came to me with the with the with the color code, with like time and date. Like he came with everything. A treatment called it. Mm -hmm. My first time learning about it, a treatment word came with the whole thing. So, <clears throat> did you like that, or you wasn't really feeling that? I felt like that was fire. It made okay. me feel important. Like, Very. yo, you you dedicated your time to plan something for me. You right. Know what I mean? Like, word, it made me feel important. I loved it. Word, and it was it made things smoother. You know, like, okay. word, it made things smoother. Like, cause we we had an itinerary. Like, mm -hmm. we we knew what we was doing, where we was doing, and how we was doing. It. And it was probably like it was probably like stressful if your your shoulders. Yeah, were like you yeah, to. cause yeah, definitely it, it was super dope. That video was fire. So, who are some of your dream collabs? Who would you want to work with in the future? <laughs> future. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see what you did there. Future. Okay. He's one of them. I'm big on Scorpion Energy. Future mm. and Drake is my top artists. Mm. I love them. You feel me? Shout out to Amari on too. Me and him share birthday. That's a very interesting shout out. Yeah. I was not expecting anything to come Me and him share birthday. Or I, That's I, a lot I of can't see my I mean like I mean I don't know I don't know how me and him would make a song together, but it could happen. I could I could figure it out. I could see he, it. He could just do he his smoke? thing and then I rap. You feel me? I just do my thing. He right on the hook, throw him right on the hook. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, he's with Mario. He's a he's a hit maker. Word, me and him share birthday. It's fine. Scorpion energy. Alright, so you just want to collab with the Scorpios? Not just the Scorpions. <laughs> to be more realistic, I would love to have a song with Shoni Bin Laden. Okay. That's fire. Shoni, reach out. I feel like me and him, me and him could do some shit. Cause I, I, I kind of like, I was inspired by his, by his flow and style on one of my tracks that I ain't even released yet. Okay. But it's definitely inspired by him. Like, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's like inspired by him with my my twist to it, you feel me? Where so yeah, shout outs to him. Like he's an inspiring young man. I like to see him in his life and shit. I like that how you gave him his props. I feel like a lot of a lot of niggas be like in about saying they fans are the niggas. No, I'm, I'm I'm a real optimistic person and like I said, I don't got no I don't got no beef with nobody, you feel me? I give everybody their props, everybody their credit. Shawnee B was definitely one of them. Um, Young and May, we, okay. that was actually supposed to happen. Oh, damn. That was supposed to happen. You feel me? I feel like, 
I feel like I called her just before she blew up. I was doing my own thing. I actually went viral with this whole situation I had. That was actually around the time where I first met Nicole, too. For me, for I started a Brooklyn Psych Challenge. I had everybody all over the whole city, even into other states. Like, okay. rapping to one beat. Me. Some people switch the beat. Mm -hmm. Everybody dropped their verse to one beat, and we had just you. we had just called it the Brooklyn Psych Challenge. You feel me? It was it started just Brooklyn artists. You feel okay. me? It was a it was a thing to just pick up Brooklyn artists, and then like and then like it just got out of control. Everybody seen everybody, everybody seen the tapping in. Where they like I don't give a fuck. I'm from the Bronx. I'm gonna do one too. Period. You feel me? Where it's Staten Island, Jersey has some CT artists jump in. But yeah, so after everybody's doing their verses online, mm -hmm. I took it upon myself to to turn it into a stop the gun violence thing and That's invite cool. everyone from all these different sides to come and spit their verses in person on camera. That's cool. That's cool. Feel me? And I did that in my crib, well not oh, wow. my building. You feel me? We got a lobby big enough for it. Feel me? And I filled up the lobby. That shit was legendary. That's good. It was like, it had to be like 150, 200 people in this lobby. You feel me? It was fire. The capacity is only like 300, 350. So I, <clears throat> I literally filled up the lobby. That That's shit good. was fire, boy. Like I was saying, I had mad artists pop out. Um, one of them, a few of them, Henry Hennessy. Um, who else popped out? My son Wavy Like Briscoe. My son Prince Twan, these are a lot of upcoming artists, you feel me, got hot songs, like mm -hmm. crazy numbers, but they just not all the way out there yet, yeah. you feel me, word, like, and like, it was, it was super dope, and, and Young M.A. pulled up, she caught wind, she caught wind of the situation, and she, she, she She's did, super in tune. Yeah, she was super in tune, super in tune, word, and I actually knew her brother too. Is set and shit, you feel me? So I was cool with her brother, but um, yeah, she pulled up. She pulled up, and it was super fire. I actually got into some copyright trouble because of that, though. Oh, wow, that's tough. I'm about to tell you about that right now. Like, yeah, she pulled up, so like, she pulled up towards the end, too. So it was like, it was kind of calculated, too. Like, because when she pulled up, it wasn't too many people, and it wasn't too crowded. Like, right. it was more, it was more of a comfortable vibe for her, you feel me? She pulled up and spit a verse that turned out to be the Quiet Storm. Oh wow! Freestyle on her album, the verse she spit. That's lit. Word, you feel me? So mind you, I'm recording this whole thing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I put the whole video out. The video is going crazy. You right. feel me? I put the whole compilation video out. It was all of us rapping, me, her, the other artists, everybody. You feel me? Push come and shove. I think that shit got taken down because when she oh, was putting out her, that was her first album. Mm -hmm. She even like, we was we was big, big buddies around this time, you feel me? We still cool, you feel me? I, I hit her up a couple months ago just just to check in on like, yo, hope you doing well, you feel me? Everything, everything is everything. But word, I was everywhere with her. We, we had, after we linked up for that Brooklyn Psych Challenge, I linked up with her to shoot the Brooklyn Site video. Mm -hmm. You feel me? She was in the studio. She started the song off. Shout outs to my homie Twist. You okay. feel me? And I'm right there in the studio. You got my little cameo and shit. Word. We shot that video together. Then we shot, she shot the regular video, invited me to the hotel and shit that she was shooting it at. Then her first, her first, um, her first headlining show that she did in Webster Hall so mm -hmm. loud. I was there, it was in November, she had pulled me up, it was around, around the time of my birthday too, I'm like, yo, this is a fire birthday experience, you feel me, like, where it was a sold out show, and I'm right yeah, there, sure. right next to her, you feel me, like, where everybody got all the cameras on and shit, and it was like, we always brought up music, like, she was fucking with my music, I was fucking with her, but it's like, as, as it was happening, everything was happening so fast, she was literally blowing up in that exact moment, like, yeah. through these exact couple of days you feel me so it's like we we almost got to do it but but management got in the way we're like i feel like time will you know when it's supposed to happen management got in the way. yeah i feel like i feel like i feel like even right now like i feel like i can get up with her i can get up with her i feel like now we would definitely then i feel like i couldn't i ain't, I ain't have the right resources to get up with her then because she had management in the way you feel me it was more than just a, a buddy thing 
but now I feel like I got enough of my and then me and Hucka, we can do it the business way too if we want to do that, you feel me? And we already know each other and we cool, so it's already going to be involved. But yeah, Young and May was one of my, my <coughs> One of my dream collabs, facts, I wanted to get that done. Okay, great. So, so we're going to hope for that. So what do we have to look forward to? Ooh. Um, you can look forward to that single I'm talking about, that, that Sean B inspired. You can look forward to that. You can look forward to me dropping a whole next project before the, before the year is out. I'm dropping a whole next project, a little. Okay. Not a little EP, big EP or a big EP, or not just me, me and other artists. Okay. Or I got a um, single called Showing Up okay. with Billy B that I'm about to drop on my birthday. I got the video done, song done. Okay. Got a bunch of real views. Everybody's loving it. We're just waiting for it to drop. My boy Haitian Picasso shot that. Or That's he's, he's family too. He's family too. Shout out to my boy. He in Dubai right now. Oh, he get right. back tomorrow. Um, <laughs> word, back to work, back to work. I got that coming. I got the EP coming. I'm about to shoot a video for much higher. So I'm about to, yeah, drop a super fire official video for that. I got, I got a few things in the works, you know. Okay, a few uh, things up your sleeve. Love that. Yeah, so yeah, go ahead and tell the people where they can find you. Um, you could, it depends on where you want to find. <laughs> 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 what you trying to see. Not all day, not all day. But, um, yeah, like, as far as the Instagram, it's the same as my original Instagram, if you already know who I am, you feel me? For those who don't know who I am, the Instagram, Instagram handle is Straight Cash Twist. It's straight, S-T-R, the number eight. You feel me? Cash. C A S H and then twist the way you would spell it. Feel me? No underscore because straight cash twist underscore is blocked indefinitely. They're not giving me that back. And I'm heartbroken a little bit about it, but the show must go on. But yeah, um, on Instagram, straight cash twist, no underscore. Facebook, twist get straight cash. Everything is spelled the way it's supposed to be spelled. Um, Twitter, straight cash twist. <laughs> Underscore. Still Use your discernment with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Approach caution to it with caution. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, was fun. This was fun. This was fun. Yeah.